Hey, fun fact, you guys. The guy who voices Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph is this guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey! If it isn't Star Prince. Star Lord. Oh, sorry. Lord. What is going on, Draw2 Crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. And today we are going to be tackling Ralph or Wreck-It Ralph from the movie or movies Wreck-It Ralph and Wreck-It Ralph 2 Ralph Breaks the Internet which is coming out this week. Before we begin you guys in this channel I make a lot of step-by-step uh, -step drawing tutorials of your favorite fictional characters so if you guys like what you see make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell and don't forget to like this video as well. Personally you guys when it comes to computer generated animation movies uh, if it doesn't have the name Pixar on it, I don't usually think it's any good. There's a couple non-Pixar uh, animated, computer animated movies that I like, like Shrek, for example. Uh, Big Hero 6 was really good. Uh, other than that, there wasn't really others. Like, the other ones were just like, meh, I wasn't a huge fan of them. And then, and then came Wreck-It Ralph, and it wasn't a Pixar movie, but it had Pixar like it had the Pixar heart, it had the Pixar stories, and it had the Pixar like visuals, and it was amazing. I really loved it. And so that's why you guys, I'm really excited to see Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I'm excited to go back to these characters who are really endearing. Ralph especially is one of my favorite uh, characters now. And uh, yeah, so that's why we're doing a tutorial on him today. All right, so before you start, be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. Having said all of that, you guys, grab your drawing tools. Let's get to our tutorial. Sorry, what's a quick quick all right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with our Wreck-It Ralph tutorial. We're going to be drawing him uh, in landscape mode. He's going to have his arms out to the sides and we're going to be drawing full body. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is draw a, a square like this. And as you guys can see, it's rather tiny. It's a little bit longer, actually. So maybe it's not quite a square. There you go. A square like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a similar square down at the bottom just as a guideline. So I'm going to draw it lightly. And then just like that, I'm going to draw this line underneath so I have a good idea on uh, where I want Ralph's chin to be. And I want it to be about that far down, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring from this point, I'm going to create like this light bulb shape down to that line. And then I'm going to erase inside so that I come up with a line or with a shape that looks like that weird looking uh, shape and I'm going to round off the corners slightly there you go okay so this is gonna be his face and then he's got sideburns so I'm gonna draw two lines right here those are gonna be the sideburns and then about halfway through here and here I'm going to draw the ears coming out of the sideburns. so it's gonna come out here down like that okay here as well down and like this and then he's gonna have his hair kind of come out like that up here as well okay so there's the uh, space for the hair if i erase this maybe i'll give you guys a better idea of what he looks like and there you go let me zoom in on that so you guys get a good idea of what i mean so here's that shape for the head that looks like a light bulb and then you've got the sideburns here and you've got the ears here and here and then just a light line a circle around for the hair and of course we're going to be drawing it spiky so don't worry about uh this being perfect or anything because it's going to be spiky a little bit later on okay all right now i'm going to draw a line going across like this and that's going to be our guideline for his shirt so if we zoom out again okay let's start working on his neck he's going to have a big big massive neck and it starts kind of from the ear going out like this and then from here, it goes out like this. Okay, so it's going to be this massive, massive neck. All right, let me zoom out some more. And you guys can see that's what it's looking like. Now, I'm trying to draw it as tight as I can because I will be ending up 
drawing the whole body as you guys can see like the head already takes up quite a bit of space a little bit more than I uh, I wanted to and I really want the body to fit in the whole body to fit in this space right here so I'm trying my hardest to keep it all in the same spot and that's the thing with doing this live is sometimes you make mistakes and you know what that's okay making mistakes is what art is all about right okay so now I'm gonna draw this going across and this one going across like this. So it's gonna be essentially a straight line going across like this. Okay, right here. And about here is where I'm going to draw like two lines. Essentially his whole body is like two straight lines that go straight down, okay? Not quite straight, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a curve like this. Okay, just like that. That is subject to change. That might change a little bit later on. And then this one goes down like this. Okay. This one's a little bit smaller than this one, but that's that's fine. We're gonna leave it like that for now, okay? Now we're gonna make this a square. So right around here is where it looks like a square. Okay, draw that. And then here is where we're going to draw the crotch line. And then here is where we're going to draw edge of the pants. So here's now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like this chest line, the center line that goes from the top to the neck here to the crotch like this. And you guys notice that it's closer to this side than it is on this side. There you go. Okay. And then here, this is essentially going to be like a square shape. That's for his foot or for his leg. And then the other side is gonna be like this, okay? This is gonna be like a, a square that's kind of slanted like this. And then the feet, this goes down and across like this. I wanna make sure I'm within the frame here. Okay, and then I'm gonna extend this slightly. So it looks like this five, like the five line shape right here. One, two, three, a little bit, four, and then five. Okay, and then same thing over here. This goes out slightly, goes down, across, and then up right here. Okay, so those are gonna be Ralph's feet. He's got like these boxy looking feet, and we're gonna zoom in on those uh, a little bit later on. So as long as you guys got this shape as best as you can, then we're good to go, okay? This is where his um, overalls He's gonna have one hanging right here and then the other one's gonna be off and it's gonna go up to this part right here. Okay, so leave that as it is right there. All right, now let's work on the arms and let's work on the shoulder first actually. So right here, we're going to draw the shoulder about this far up. Okay, so from here, this far up, not quite halfway. Okay, this goes diagonal like this and then I'm gonna bring this slowly down like that. Again, and same thing over here, actually about higher than this. So here's this line right here. So like this is where it is. I want this one to be a little bit higher. This is good. Like that, and then like this. Okay, there you go. So you guys can see that uh, Ralph's head is significantly uh, smaller in comparison to his, his body. Okay. There you go. We have those. The first, or before I draw the arms or anything, I kind of want to figure out where his fists are going to be. And I'm gonna draw this line right here, like a little hockey stick there. And this is where I want his fist to be. And I'm gonna draw like this massive rectangle for his fist. There you go. Bring this this way, elbow, and then back up like that, okay? So there is one fist. Now the other fist is gonna go down, diagonal like this, okay? Actually, you want this to be a little bit of a diagonal, so not not straight like this. So you guys can see it's like left and right. You want it a little bit more diagonal like this. So here's my line, just like that. Just a tiny line, not big. Okay, and then Try to draw the same size rectangle as you did on the other side there. That's where we're going to draw the fist. 
there you go and then this goes this way and then right into that corner right there okay so you want to make sure that these two lines are parallel and try to make these two lines parallel as well here and here okay there you go line right there for the bicep line right here for the bicep there you go those are the basics for our route so now i'm going to just clean up my paper here from the erasing marks and let's change our pencil and let's zoom in and start working on the details of the face and the and the costume okay so here is our um, initial drawing what i'm going to do is i find i find that it's a little bit narrow I kind of wide i want to widen it a little bit so i'm just going to make a little just a few adjustments here not not too much just to make sure that he's got like this wide wide face there you go okay and then here i'm going to draw what we call a widow's peak on the forehead the hairline where it kind of dips in the center okay there there you have it now i'm going to draw my lines lightly first and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to draw a line going down this way and then this way so we know where the center is okay this goes like this and this goes like this and those kind of act as cheeks for ralph okay and where they meet i'm going to draw think of it as an oval looks like this an oval mentos maybe if you guys know what mentos is or if you guys like mentos smash that like button if you do i love mentos just don't drink it with a diet coke or something <laughs> okay and there you go so there's ralph's nose and then right here just a little little kind of like half circle there for one nostril and then another half circle right here for the other nostril okay down the center i'm going to draw two lines like this and then on each side of that line i'm going to draw one circle another circle so there you go so these circles let me draw it on the side here they're they kind of flatten at the bottom like this okay so that's what you want to do for those eyes and i'm going to make one eye a little bit more of a slant right here so it kind of looks like he's kind of giving a, a bit of a, a look that didn't quite turn out but that's okay that is completely fine okay okay once i have those circles i'm going to erase the top and stick in right here above the eye make sure it doesn't touch the, the eye goes like this make it thicker and go down so it looks like these huge thick eyebrows there you go okay now i'm going to draw some circles for the pupils and you want to make sure that you do this right otherwise you might have you know ralph cross-eyed um derpy faced right now he looks hypnotized so what i want to do is i want to darken them there you go there you go and then i'm going to kind of erase those cheek lines replace it with some eye lines right here and here it's good to have sharp um just add the cheek lines on these sides like i was saying it's good to have a, a sharp edge on your pencil so make sure you always have extra pencils lying around it's been sharpened so that you know when you draw there's no there's no break like you don't pause to sharpen your pencil or anything there's already one right there ready to go there you go so there's that okay that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw this line right here and this line right here very faintly because those are going to be where we're going to place the lips so here's this one, this one actually goes down a little bit lower to there. Okay, from there, I'm going to draw to there. There you go. So you notice the mouth isn't exactly symmetrical. 
and that's fine. Don't worry about it looking symmetrical. There you go. And then right here. There. It doesn't quite look like Ralph yet because we don't have the right haircut for Ralph. Right now it looks like he's got an afro, which is a cool look, but not Ralph's look. All right, so let's draw some clumps of hair. I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna bring it up and it's gonna be spiky. So there's one that kind of looks like a banana and right above it, or right in front of it, another banana right there. Or it looks more like a teardrop shape, okay? Okay, this hair goes like this, and then out like this. So it's, it's kind of starting to look like anime hair, like Goku or something. There you go. Okay, so it's, it's kind of looking like a flower as well. So it's kind of starts right here and it blossoms, it's making its way out. So now I'm gonna draw some messy kind of zigzags on the side here, and then right here as well. Let me actually bring that in like this. There you go. And right here. And right here. So there, now it's looking more like Ralph. Okay, and then let's just draw the hair. How it flows like this. So what you want to do is you want to kind of start from here and work your way outward like that. All at the same time, you kind of want to give the hair a little bit more volume, layering it like this. So you, you work one shape at a time, start from here, make your way outward like this. And you notice I'm also working the edges so that they're not like one smooth edge. Okay. And just keep working until you get the whole hair. And actually right here, zigzags as well, here in the, uh, where the sideburns are on the sides. So you wanna make sure you get that as well. And then here's the ear, a little curve inside the ear like that and like this. There you go. And then just keep working these. I'll uh, fix them up when I start inking. And there you go, so there's our Ralph right there. I would fix his eyes a little bit, the way that I have mine right now. He's kind of just like staring into the distance. I kind of wanted him to stare more at the audience, but you know what, I might do that. If, if, if I were to fix it, I will probably fix it during my inking stage. So I won't worry about it right now. Okay, now I'm just going to fix his face because what I want to do is I want to make sure that his face is, you know, symmetrical, face is even. There you go. There's our Ralph face. Now let's zoom out. And that was the hard part, really. The body's relatively easy in comparison. Maybe the fists are a little bit more difficult, but uh, looking at it right now, that's what we got, okay? So now I'm going to draw the overalls and then the shirt. Okay, I'm gonna start right here where this spot is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of find a spot right here, right where my elbow, this line from the elbow kind of goes into the body here. Right here is kind of where I want the button for the overalls to be right there. A little clasp goes there, okay? So a circle, line at the top. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, there you go. Line at the top, this goes down sideways. And then from here now you want to create this nice curvature going towards that corner here. Okay, so you wanna, I'm gonna make it a little more curvy than this. There you go. And then, right around here, find the spot, bring this to that line, and then bring this to here, to the right of this button. And then close that off. And there we have our little flap that is falling down because his overalls are broken. Okay, and then now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw 
a rectangle just above that circle with two lines going down. And those are going to act as the clasps for the overalls. Okay. And then the overalls go here and here on that line and bring it up to the shoulder in a curve like this. Okay. There you go. That's it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is this right here, I'm going to draw like a V shape just beneath it right there. Okay. And I'm going to bring this V shape up to the neck here. There you go. So that's what that looks like. And then this right here kind of goes to this corner in a nice curve like this. So it's going to be uh, a layer. So he's got like the undershirt. This is it right here. This is the undershirt layer. Okay, I'm going to draw that twice. So here's the, the neck hole. Is that what you call it? The, uh, the collar of the shirt. Okay, and then I'm going to draw some stripes, some lines going up and down, kind of following the curve. There you go. Erase this right here. Okay, now I'm going to outline this right here, this line, like this. Okay, so now I have this outline, and then as soon as I get to the middle, I'm going to draw. I'm going to make this kind of like a Y shape. Stops right, kind of right there. Okay, there you go. So there's that Y shape. And erase this. And that's, that's what you want right there. Now I'm going to draw two buttons, one right here. Okay. Four dots in the center for the button. And another one right here, same size, four dots in the center. And then I'm going to draw a third button right here, same size. And there you go. That is his shirt. Okay. Now clean this up a little bit. This is a seam, so we'll keep that line. Make the shoulder a little bit rounded and smoother at the top here. But what is not smooth is right here. This is all tattered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of draw a zigzag first to, to indicate that it is like a ripped fabric. And then after I do like these huge zigzags, I'm going to go back and kind of just make those lines a little bit rougher like that. So it's like more jagged. You see what I mean here? Okay. So there's that and we'll do the same thing on this side. So you want to draw from here up to that line again. And then tattered, right? So you want to keep that all zigzaggy and kind of crooked. That's how I want it. And then just zigzags, little ziggy zaggies. There you go to show that it's, it's a tattered fabric. Okay, good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up this line right here and this one as well, just to show the seams. And I'm going to bring this strap a little bit higher than the shoulder. So it looks three dimensional. So it sticks out a little bit. There you go. Now let's draw the plaid pattern. Now that we have the shirt, let's draw the plaid pattern of the shirt. And I'm going to just start right here. And I'm just going to draw lines about this wide from each other. Okay. And then actually, let me bring that a little bit closer. You kind of want to make it symmetrical here and here from the center. Here's the center. You want to just make it look symmetrical like that. Okay. And then a line going across like this, you kind of want it to start bending down. So it kind of shows that, you know, Ralph's chest is rounded this way as well. And then bring it down this way. Okay. And then right here. So it's not exactly squares. The pattern is more rectangular. There you go. Okay. And then right here at the top as well. There you go. And then from the armpit, 
couple of wrinkly lines like this, and then line going across. Oops. Okay, same thing over here. A couple of wrinkly lines. Line going across right here. And then this line kind of goes down, follows that as well. Okay, there you go. Um, there's a lot more detail to his shirt, but I'm not going to I'm not going to add it. Feel free to look at a reference photo of Ralph and add the details on the shirt, but just to simplify it, this is how I'm going to keep it. Okay, so and there's that. And before we do the arms, let's just do the rest of the uh, body. I'm going to grab myself a different pencil here. All right, there you go. I'm going to double up this line right here for the seam. And then right here. And a little patch, a little square patch right here with an X. Right there. Okay. I'm going to erase a few guidelines here. There you go. Okay, so we've got that. Now what we want to do is go on this corner and what we want to create is like this gap between the pants and the, the, the shirt and essentially just have the shirt tuck into the pants and have the pants kind of come out a little bit more and then to the back like this. Okay, and then this goes straight down. Okay, and then this also goes straight down. Okay, right here, zigzag lines zigzag lines and we'll do the same thing we're going to give it some tatters like that there you go okay this kind of makes this kind of curve right here it goes down to that this goes down like this so now let's work on the um, the bottoms and the bottom is going to be right here actually so I'm going to draw like this line across a little bit rounded line across like that I'm going to draw one more okay one more line across like this here are the pockets the pockets are two lines going this way and then right here from underneath this flap to the side twice like that Okay, and here's the crotch seam. One, and then two. So here's the crotch right there, all right? And then we've got like a little pocket right here as well. So it goes this way, down, and then across again right here. And then follow that along with some more seams and also some seams right there. Okay, that's a, I mean, there's a lot more. There's, he's actually got a little um, tatter, you know, like the, the knees of your jeans, sometimes they get worn out. So I'm creating these edges like this and they're not quite worn out. So I'm just going to draw some, some thread that's like barely hanging on here, but it does look like his jeans are starting to rip in the front by the, by the pocket like this. Okay, and then right here, I'm going to draw a seam going down. All of this create the illusion of uh, denim or jeans material. And then wrinkles going this way. And just a little bit of wrinkles going this way. There you go. So now we've got the pants. It's all done. I drew a circle right in there as well. So now let's draw the appendages. There you go. Let's just get the focus proper. There was our Ralph right there. Now let's work on the fists. Basic shapes. Ralph is a pretty blocky character. So like his fists are going to be pretty, pretty blocky. And I'm going to bring this to the center. Makes it easier. Okay. We're going to break this rectangle up into different sections. So I'm going to draw a line right here first. There you go, basically cuts it into three. I'm gonna draw another line right there. So there's three lines. This line right here is gonna be diagonal like this. And this goes across like this, all right? And then 
Actually, let's draw the wrist first. I'm going to draw like a little, a small rectangle right there, about that big. Okay, and then from here, bring this down to there. All right, now let's draw the, kind of divide the fingers. And the way that I like to divide fingers is just like giving it, just by eyeing it. Okay, it goes like this, this goes like that, this goes like this. So there's three fingers right there, and then the fourth one is gonna be right here. Okay, and then there you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the knuckles right here. The knuckles are essentially just bumps from line to line. One more right here. Okay, and then same thing here. One, so there's one finger. There's two fingers here actually. If I erase this, erase this, and just create like a curve like that. It's gonna be our wrinkle, or sorry, our bend, our finger bending. Okay, three, and then one more. Make sure this one's the tiny one. The pinky's supposed to be the tiniest finger. There, okay. Here's our thumb. We're gonna simplify this thumb. We're just gonna give like a blocky looking thumbnail. There you go. Line coming out this way. And then like that. Okay, and then right here, this goes out like this. And then just bring this to this corner. There you go. And then to the elbow. Let me fix this a little bit. There you go. And then there's our here's our fist. Okay. Now on the other side, we do the same thing. Right. Let me keep this in frame while we do this one. Okay, so let's break this again into, this one's not gonna be um, in equal threes like this one is, because the angle's a little bit different. This right here, I made a little bit skinnier than the other two. There, okay, and then right here, more extreme angle this time so it goes like this okay so now we can divide the fingers and you kind of want to make sure that you're drawing the same width fingers as you did on this side there you go okay now knuckles one two three four I'm gonna bring my pinky in a little bit more, like this. Okay. Let me draw my thumb here as well. Thumb's gonna be like this, a little bit more square actually than the other other thumb. So it looks like that, and it actually sticks out this way, and then this goes like that. Okay. Let me erase this actually. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the thumbnail to the right side. And then a curve right here. Okay, there you go. There's that muscle. Oh yeah, let's uh, curve these. And let's get rid of this straight line right here and just add a little bit more curvature to the bends of the fingers. Okay, and then curve here, curve here. Close this off, and there you go. All right. Pretty ginormous fists, if you ask me, but that's of course 
part of his character. He is, of course, Wreck-It Ralph, and he wrecks with his fists. Okay, the last thing is going to be the, uh, the feet. So let's zoom in on the feet. There we are. Now, we've kind of already got the shapes right. Now what we're going to do is kind of draw a square right there. That's going to be the big toe. And then this just goes up, line goes up like this. Okay. A little curve right here. And then this is going to be like the arch of the foot here. And then this goes like this and then up like that. So it's very basic. Here's the big toe again. Little faint little sliver right there for the toenail at the top. And then I'm going to draw a line from here going out like this. So I've got this rectangle here, which I'm going to divide one, two, and three. And then the fourth one is tiny. So it's, it gets gradually smaller as you go. And those are of course going to be for the other toes. There you go. It's a kind of hard to explain, but uh, that's, that's what it is. It's very cartoonishly blocky. Okay, this one's going to be slightly different. Okay, right here is where we're going to draw the first big toe, or the first toe, or the big toe, right there, and then a sliver like that for the toenail. Okay, and then lines across again, right? There's the second toe, third toe fourth toe and then the little pinky toe. So it looks like squares, again, gradually getting smaller. Here's a line between, line between each toe there. And when you get to the smallest toe, you just bring it all the way up like that. And then the top is are these slivers of toenail. Same thing here, but you kind of barely see and that is, and just round off the corners a little bit so they're not so blocky. And that's it. All right. So I think we're done. Just clean up our little work area here. There you go. And then zoom out. And there we have it, you guys. That is Wreck-It Ralph from the upcoming movie, movie Wreck-It Ralph. To Ralph Breaks the Internet. So I hope you guys uh, had fun with this tutorial. Um, yes, again, I'm looking forward to this movie. I enjoyed the first one, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. If you, number one, like this video, video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe. All of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description, so always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one, and till then, Stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.